Well, I did it, y'all. I finished Huvember. Can you believe it? I surely cannot believe it. <laughs> um, I wasn't really gonna do a flip through video, only because it didn't occur to me even to do one. Uh, someone commented that they couldn't wait for my flip through, and I was like, oh, I guess I could do one of those, couldn't I? So this is gonna be a flip through. I haven't looked at most of these since I actually did the piece of art. So especially the ones in the beginning, I probably don't remember. All right, first we have the cover. I love the cover, it's so brightly colored. I don't like how the little me turned out. I thought she could have been better, but the texture of the cover had a lot to do with that actually. And the, um, like I said in my intro video, the Posca pens did not like drawing on this weird linen textured cover that was not, not a fan. Actually, I got um, a few comments that the 20 over 20 was weird. I, I'm not sure why I did that, why I decided to do that. I mean, 20 out of 20, I could be doing that too. Just giving myself a 100% awesome score because I finished two member. Ah! <laughs> oh, I will never get over it all. It's the first monthly challenge I've ever completed. Anyway, okay, let's um, let's get into it. So first we have Sunshine Yellow. And uh, I don't know where I came up with the idea for this one. I don't know. She's cute. Oh, somebody suggested the reason that she's trying to cover herself up with the umbrella is because she doesn't want to mess up her hair. I thought that was perfect. So yeah, that's canon. Uh, she's covering herself with the parasol because she doesn't want to mess up her hair. <laughs> All right, after my cute lemonade girl, we have yellow. Oh yes. So I, I was trying really hard to go this entire month and not draw any uh, fan art, any copywritten characters, anything like that. And I thought I had accomplished it, but then I remembered this one. And so I almost accomplished it. I think this is the only one. I did think of drawing him driving the dump truck actually, but uh, this was fun. The Pikachus are terrible. If like, if you really look at these Pikachus, they're awful. <laughs> I did them, I tried to do them really fast because there were so many of them and I really didn't want to draw all of them, but I thought it was a fun idea. So I just did it and yeah. Well, anyway, let's move on. Next we have, oh, light orange. This is probably one of my favorites. I have several favorites, but this one, this one was definitely one of my favorites. It's the first cute girl I drew and I was, I was really proud of her. I thought she turned out really cute. I don't know if it's the combination of colors cause I do, orange is my favorite color. So I'm already biased towards liking orange, but I don't know, I just like how I just like how her hair turned out. I did a lot of planning to make sure that the colors didn't overlap and blend in with each other. And I just, just really like how this one turned out. Like I like her a lot. Next is Apric. Oh yeah, this one is my uh, self-absorbed picture because orange is a favorite color, four is a favorite number, and Pisces is my star sign. Actually, I found out a lot of people who watch my videos are Pisces. Pisces represent. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so we got two koi fish. Oh, also my weebness because we got this one. I actually I really liked as well. It's that illustrative like children's book style that I actually really like and have never tried before and didn't try when I was doing this. It just sort of ended up that way. Uh, oh, this one, I, I remember being disappointed with this one because it seems very plain. I was trying to make these images simple so that I would get through Huvember, and I'll talk about that at the end, but I think that's partly why I made it through Huvember was because a lot of the images were very simple. But this one is one of the most simple, and I kind of was a little disappointed with myself because I didn't think I, I feel like I didn't try very hard on this one. Moving on, I was, I'm still kind of impressed with myself, with this tiger. <laughs> I must, I must say, uh, I've never drawn a tiger before. So, so this, I was very, I was impressed by myself. However, the circle is not exactly round. I really think, I really thought it would be cool to have it look at this tiger was like fading into the background, but because he has so many stripes, it's like you don't even miss that there's no line art. Like, I don't, I don't know. I, I look at this and I'm just like, oh yeah, it's a tiger, that's cool. But, oh, the Cardinal, yes, the Cardinal. Um, I love to draw birds. There's several birds during this monthly challenge. Um, I just like to draw birds, I don't know why. I like to watercolor birds specifically. I prefer to watercolor them, but 
Um, I never would have, normally I wouldn't draw a bird with one color, one flat color, because I feel like there's just not enough depth and variation you can get. They make such solid, bold colors that you would think it would look too cartoonish, and I like to draw realistic birds. Um, but I think what saved this picture, I really like this one too, I think what saved this picture was the, um, the detail in the black parts of in the branch and in the pine needles. I think that really, and even the shading in the bird, I think that saved this from looking too like cartoony. I'm um, really pleased with this one. I really like how this one turned out. Oh, this one. Mm. As I said in my video, hate roses, but I like how this one turned out. My mom really likes this one. It's very um, biker chic <laughs> or very macabre. Depends on how you look at it. It was sort of a no brainer when I wanted to do the roses this color. I was like, well, I have to pick something else to put in the picture because I don't want to just draw a bouquet of roses. I wanted to define every petal individually. I didn't want to lose that definition. So I went through and drew them one petal at a time. I did one petal, shaded it. Did another petal, shaded it. Um, next is, oh, <laughs> the jelly! <laughs> I don't know why I get so excited about jellyfish. I saw a couple comments that people liked the white pattern that I had originally drawn on this. I was trying to draw simple images this month. I didn't want them to look simple. So um, I like this hood much better. Um, after Fuchsia, we have Red Wine, another one that I really like. Force, I love um, forced perspective, like really hard perspectives, um, where like this part's like disproportionately large compared to that part, because it's closer. I just love those. Originally, I had meant to make this smaller so you could see like the collar of the shirt and the raised up sleeve, so you would have a better idea just by glancing what is happening in this picture. But uh, yeah, it didn't turn out that way because, I don't know, it didn't turn out that way. I don't even know how I got to drawing this thing that I drew. Oh, here's cute girl number two. But yeah, it's just a cute girl taking a selfie, you know, as you do. I tried to make her similar to the light orange girl, but I absolutely like the light orange girl better. I, this one didn't turn out as nicely, um, and I tried to do it. It's a style that I do do periodically, um, and you could you could get all deep, like, oh, she's taking a selfie, but she has no face, and we could we could get real analytical on this picture. But I don't know. It's just a it's just a cute girl. That's all. I'm that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> Uh, dark brown. Oh, I still regret this one. I still regret not doing another cute girl. I should have just done it. I should have just done it. I have a huge sweet tooth, but actually, hilariously, I don't like chocolate. I would absolutely have preferred a cute girl to this. <laughs> this image doesn't do anything for me. The cupcake is boring. I mean, it's just cake with frosting. So I had to hot fudge more frosting chocolates. I tried to make it as interesting as I could. After that was, oh, slate gray. So this, I could only think of storm clouds with this color. It was really, I was struggling. The only thing I could think of was storm clouds. And they're so plain, like I really, I tried really hard to add hatching and try and, you know, make it look darker. And I think, I, I think I did it backwards. I think what I should really have done, I tried to make the middle look lighter and then the next layer look darker and then the next layer look darker and then the nearest clouds look the darkest. And I think what I should have done was made all of the clouds black and made the sky gray and defined them with gray lines. I think that would have looked better. I mean, hindsight's 2020, but I think that that's what would have made this image pop more. There's not enough contrast in it, I think, is what my problem is with it. I don't hate it, but it's definitely not one of my favorites. The next one is not one of my favorites, but it was torture. Gray. I had actually forgotten I did this picture. <laughs> so I just peeked underneath the flap. When we were looking at this one, I looked here and said gray. It said gray, and I said, oh. <laughs> oh, this one was torture. This one was awful. I, oh, oh my gosh. This took me so long. I do like the result. I do think it turned out nicely. But uh, it was not worth the amount of effort I had to put into this. Like I said in the video, if you decide that you want to draw a castle, more power to you. Don't do it with Posca pens. Don't try and do a realistic looking castle with Posca pens. Terrible idea. 
took me four and a half hours and yeah. The only way to sub differentiate things is to either obviously add shadows and hot shadows and uh, highlights. So, but the shadows have to be hatched. It's just, oh, it was just so much work going in and doing all the little, all these tiny lines and having to make out the bricks and, oh, it was so much work. 10 out of 10 do not recommend. I started on this tower and went this way and then went this way. And I don't know if you can tell, but I can tell that as I got over here, I started to get lazy. And then by the time I came down here and did this riverbank and this reflection, I was done. I was so lazy. I was so done. This one is ivory. Um, literally the definition of boring is vanilla. That's how you describe mundane, boring things as them being vanilla. And I drew vanilla. So this is a very boring, mundane piece of art. I understand. That's why I tried to add little flourishes to try and at least add a little bit of visual interest because otherwise I didn't know what I was going to do. I regretted doing the waffle cone after I did it because the color is wrong. The color is like very wrong. Um, I should have made it a sugar cone, but I just really wanted that chocolate dip. And I, I thought it would look a little weird. There's not enough contrast between the ice cream and the cone. It's really hard to tell that this is a drip of ice cream going down the cone unless you really look at it, but eh, I'm not going to say it was a failure because you can tell what it is by looking at it, but this is definitely also not one of my favorites. Beige. Actually, my favorite part of this picture is the umbrella. I really, really like the umbrella. He physically should have been bigger. He should have taken up more space. That's my issue with him in this picture. I do like how the sand turned out. I like all the stippling. That was fun. So he's the only male in this entire book. I mean, I guess unless some of the birds are male, but I mean, the only obvious, the only human male? The only human male. Moving on to, oh, <laughs> my weeaboo picture. This one, this one's a guilty pleasure. Maybe not one of my favorites. I just like it because I like the, the subject. I don't know if the art's actually any good. I tried to do that traditional ink painting style of art. I thought that the uh, acrylic paint pad would do a little better than it ended up doing. But again, the like I said in that video, the acrylic paint is much thicker than ink. So I don't know what I was expecting. I should not have expected it to spread like ink. So that was my fault. That was just me being dumb. Oh, I have a brush. Let me try Sumie. No. All right, moving. Oh, oh, <laughs> I love this picture so much. <gasps> I am so proud of this picture. Even as I was drawing it, as, it, as time went on, I kept being like, ah, oh, that looks really good. It's also a bird. You'll notice I really like to draw birds. Anyway, all right, all oh, the purples. Oh God. Oh God. I don't want to talk about the purples. Even as you can see here, this is, it ended up being a flower. It's, it's a crystal, which someone pointed out looks a lot like the Silver Imperium crystal from Sailor Moon. And once they pointed that out to me, it's literally all I can see now. So I'm sorry if I ruined that for anybody else, but <laughs> there it is. You can see it with me after this magical MacGuffin is, oh, the cutest little dragon. <gasps> I think it was Nerdy Crafter, I wanna say, did a video where she sculpted a fruit dragon. That's what made me think, cause I decided I wanna do grapes. I didn't wanna just draw a bunch of grapes cause that's boring, it's a bunch of round things. Okay, woohoo, who cares? And I think I've come to the decision that the dragon is hiding behind the bunch of grapes and is probably going to eat them. Not that the grapes are part of the dragon. Maybe I'll redraw this one sometime and actually, you know, make it make sense. <laughs> I remember when I got to this day and I saw what color I had and all I could think was, there's more purple. <laughs> What's so upset. <laughs> uh, I, I don't hate how this one turned out actually. I like to paint. Uh, pine trees. So that's why I decided to do this because I was like, well, I don't know what to do. I'm going to do something that I like <laughs> because I'm getting really frustrated with this purple nonsense. So next, oh, navy. Next is navy. All right. I hate this one. 
Can I just, I'll just, I'm just gonna be very candid. I like the idea, the blue suede shoes. I thought it was clever. I actually used to own a pair of blue suede shoes when I was in fourth grade. They were like navy blue sneakers with like a white platform because it was the 90s, you wore platforms, it's what you did. Uh, but yeah, I looked up pictures of Elvis and specifically of his feet and he was never, <laughs> He was never actually wearing blue suede shoes, but I kind of just, you know, fudged that a little bit. This was one of the ones where I only had the 3M tip to work with, and I definitely wanted a larger tip marker. Um, this is very, this one in particular is very streaky because I had to use the 3M to fill in these big fields. It was about this point in the month I was like, done, I didn't want to do this anymore. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, moving on. Oh, this is Blue Jay. So I, I wanted that like brush texture that you get when you watercolor. I was actually, like I said in the video, I was shocked how well the blending did actually work when you put the wet, when I put the wet blue marker down and then used the blue, blue, used the um, white brush pen to like sort of blend it out a little. I, I was quite shocked actually at how well that worked. I don't hate him. I don't hate his face. Like if the picture was just this, I would, I would be less mad at it, I think. Uh, it's definitely not my favorite. Let's get it off the screen now. And go to another one of not my favorite things. I think that these look like balloons because of the really harsh highlights, like balloon orchids, like if you made balloon animals, but made it the shape of an orchid, that's what this looks like to me. Let's move on. Oh God, this one. This was a lot of work. I don't usually draw horses. If you've been watching my channel for a super long time, I do actually have another speed paint of a horse or a partial speed paint, I should say. So I have drawn horses before. I'm not, I'm also not good at drawing horses, but <laughs> I wanna blame the medium. So that's at least part of it. I couldn't get money, you know, like shading and stuff. We're just gonna go with it and move on to, oh God, butterfly. Oh, I hate this one. I don't even wanna look at it. Um. Oh man, it's in the viewfinder on the camera. I'm sure you probably want to look at it. All right, I'll just look this way. I dislike butterflies, like very intensely. I dislike butterflies. But originally I wanted to do a peacock for this one. Like I said, I like to draw birds. Peacock's heads aren't this color. I was like, when I really stopped and looked at it, I was like, oh, I guess they're not. In all the reference pictures, they're like this nice jewel tone bluish color, but not this. This green is in their tail feathers, but not their heads, which is the part I wanted. I wanted to draw a peacock head right here in the middle of the page and then have plumes going out. It was gonna look really cool. And instead we got stuck with butterflies. <clears throat> oh, I got the page. I'm done with this. Oh, <laughs> I love this picture. Especially because I've decided it's some sort of terrible Lovecraftian horror. <laughs> I just love it. Yeah, I can't find what kind of tree I was talking about in the video. I, I don't know what this is called. I thought this was called the tree of life, but with the, without the eye, without the, let's cover that up. Without the eye, it's a tree of life. With the eye, it's something else. I don't know what it is. If anybody knows, feel free to leave it in the comments. I don't know why I think that this is a tree of life or why I didn't know that they don't usually have an eye, but I thought they did and I'm sure I've seen them before. I just cannot figure out what to search for to figure out what it's called. <laughs> I still think that the leaves underneath, the roots underneath look like a writhing mass of tentacles. But anyway, um, oh, this, yep, yeah, this was another terrible idea I had. I'm not mad at it though, I'm really not. Even looking at it now, I'm, I'm not, the only thing I don't like about it is, is it weirdly looks like it's on some kind of an, the top isn't even. But every time I tried to even it out more, like I tried to raise the back, it looked weird. I don't know. It's something to do with perspective, I'm sure. And I'm just the fact that I'm not used to drawing such geometric straight lines and things. Like, yes, some of the lines are curved, but they're just very proportionate and even. And there are certain ratios I'm sure that I should have gotten and then it would have made it look better. And right. Um, I don't know what it was. It is that I don't like about it, but there's something, of course. Next on to the all the slime curve. It was at this point I realized that it had been many days. Like this is day 29. I haven't drawn a person since day 15. 
It's been two weeks at this point since I had drawn a cute girl. I was going through the withdrawals, y'all. I couldn't, I had to. I actually really like how she turned out. I think she's really cute. I've never ever once drawn a slime girl. Like I had no idea what I was doing. The only complaint I have about her really is that this eye ended up too far over. It needs to be closer to the middle of her face. Like it's too far over. But that's really the only thing I see about this picture that I don't like. I really like everything else about it. This is another one where I'm like, I like it. I'm not as proud of it as I am the flamingo, but I do really enjoy this picture. And then last but not least, we have the cactus bunnies. Ah, <laughs> they're cute. So for apple green, since it was that super bright, like chartreuse sort of green, I decided that cactus, cactus would work. I think it's really cute that she's giving him a kiss and he's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> I needed to draw something cute to get through on the last day because I just wasn't, at this point I was sick, I'm sick of doing this challenge. I'm not feeling it anymore. I'm so happy that it's done. <sighs> anyway, so thoughts, feelings, etc. The all stars of this challenge were definitely at times the Posca brush markers. I love those things. The black one and the white one especially I'm literally gonna have to replace them. I'm gonna test this in December, you'll see. But I think the reason I was able to get through this challenge was because I didn't upload anything else for the entire month of November. I basically decided after I'd done the first couple that I was just gonna buckle down and focus on November because I was gonna finish this challenge. I did set the rule for myself that it had to be something simple. I decided that that was my problem in Mermaid. So for Mermaid, I was doing images that were really complicated. And I was doing very large images. The Strathmore watercolor journal I was using was like nine by 12, eight and a half by 11, something like that, much, very large. So I would spend, instead of, you know, an hour, 90 minutes, maybe two hours tops on an image, I was spending four, five, six hours on an image and it was just too much. However, that being said, I'm gonna break that rule or at the very least test that theory this month because I'm doing another daily challenge. I bought an advent calendar, a card making advent calendar. So for the month of December, on top of also doing, of doing another monthly challenge, I'm also going to upload videos on my normal days and I'm also going to do another giveaway. <laughs> so I got a lot going on this month. I do not know if I will be able to complete it. I hope that I will, but mm, we'll see. And also, can I just say thank you guys so much. Thank you to everybody who left me nice comments that they were proud of me and that my challenge was going well and trying to encourage me. I really appreciate it. Every time I read one of those comments, I smile. It makes me so happy. You have no idea. Um, I don't always respond to comments. I actually have really intense social anxiety. Sometimes I just get, ah, uh, I tense up and then I can't, I can't type anything. But I do really appreciate any encouragement that you guys give me, anything nice that y'all say. I, I really do appreciate it. It makes me so happy. So even if I don't answer your comment, know that I read it. Announcement. <laughs> uh, I have opened my Etsy shop. I promise it is open right now. And it does have all of my original Posca drawings from my First Encounters 3M Posca video. It also has many of these Cuvember images, not every single one, but many of them are also in it. If you order it, you can choose to have it plain, just the way that it is, cut out of the sketchbook. It will be about eight and a quarter by eight and a quarter. That's about the size of the sketchbook, paper in the sketchbook. Um, or you can also purchase it with a mat. I will sell it with a mat if you would like. Um, unfortunately, no, I can't promise that it will get to you before Christmas. Um, however, I will ship it out within a couple of days. So if you order it in the beginning of the month, you have a better chance of getting it before Christmas. Um, I'm really not on, the, I, did, I didn't hop on the Christmas bandwagon 
<laughs> uh, early enough, apparently. Yeah, I don't have much else to say. Um, this was an experience. I definitely learned a lot about Posca pens. If I do this Qvember challenge again in the future sometime, I definitely am gonna try and find a medium that I can get different tones of the same color because that's what I struggled with the most this month, I think, is that all I could do were blocky shapes of color. Or maybe I'll do it digital art. I don't know. But yeah, so I mean, of these 30 images, which one do you like the best? I'm gonna guess my top five are probably light orange, red wine, gray, pink, and light green. I think those are my top five. Some of them I absolutely just hate or are terrible. The only reason I didn't redo them is because I had one page per day. I feel like that also helped me a lot actually, was only having one page in this sketchbook to work on every day. Like I could work on one page and that was it. So um, that's Qvember 2020. It's done, I completed it. Uh, let me know if you have any suggestions for mediums that I could use or try for another Qvember. Uh, let me know also if you know of any other monthly challenges. The only ones I know of are Inktober, Qvember, and I think there's a watercolor month too. Stay tuned for a whole lot of videos in December. And thank you very much for going along with me on this uh, Qvember journey. I, I really appreciate you guys watching these videos every day and not getting mad that I uploaded a video every day that was like two minutes long. Enough rambling. Until my next video, I will talk to all of you soon. Bye. Thank you.